Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of This Week's This Can't Be Real. Uh, this week we have, well we were checking out Magicka 2, but now we're playing Game Dev Tycoon because I don't want to play Magicka 2 anymore. So, this is what is getting played. If you want to know why, then just check out episode 3 and you'll see that uh, things really went to hell and that this game is a lot of fun. So we're playing Game Dev Tycoon again. Uh, you know what, I really love Game Dev Tycoon. What can you say? Um, we don't need to do any kind of weird stuff like that. I think we can develop a sequel. So, what, what, what was it? What was our sequel? So, Hunt for the Real OG. Uh, Music Casual. Uh, okay. So, Zombie Action, Mystery Adventure, Music Casual, Military Strategy. Alright, so we can actually develop a proper sequel to one of these. So we got our music casual, our mystery adventure series, and our zombie action series. This was shipped in year 10. What if we did, what was our like, didn't we have like a big, big old, what was our breakout hit? There you go, a military strategy, front lions, right there. What was it? It was a military strategy game. So I think we should do a sequel to front lions. Units sold, it did sell quite a bit, year 4, average review score, fans, and let's just see, so how many fans of our series do we have? So if we go over there, and check out that, 4,000, 4,000 fans, alright, well a series with 2,000 fans doesn't seem like a bad pick, there are virtual pet casual, there are a lot of fans of that. So, yeah, in comparison to a lot of these games, our first big hit, and that's also Rhythm Casual. So, Flick Your Fingers, that's another that's another one that we can do. But there's no real casual console out right now. So, we're going to be, obviously, we're going to make iOS games for our, uh, uh, yeah, iOS ones for our, our casual games. But I think doing a sequel to, where was it, this game right here, Front Lions, uh, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to make Front Lions. It's obviously going to be a medium game, mature, military strategy, and strategy, you know what, military strategy works best on the PC, Powerhouse Crystal, so a new engine on this one, and that is going to be called, uh, Front Lions 2, uh, Front Lions 2, uh, into the Den. There you go. Front Lions 2, Into the Den. So that's a military strategy. Uh, that seems to be a shitty name, but I'm fine with that. And it is a mature game, right? Was the other one everyone? No, it's a military strategy, right? So mature really works out. And mature works out on the PC as well. So Powerhouse Crystal, I think that is going to be uh, perfectly fine. So we are going to be doing that. So next... To, yeah, 3D graphics. All right, y'all ready for this? Da -na -na. Oh, no. Bad start. Okay. What do we got here? Well, we know that engine is very important. We know that story quests isn't that important. Uh, linear story, but I think gameplay, this is going to be the way that it goes. So I think gameplay and that are going to be very important. So who do we place on this? Gameplay is going to be, we, we'll place you on gameplay, we will place you on, no, we'll place us on engine, uh, and then we'll place you on that one. Alright, so I think that's probably reasonable. Yeah, linear story, do we want simple cutscenes? How much do we have to add to it? We have to add, you have to go 20, 40, 40. Hmm. For us to get cutscenes in there. Honestly, to military, I don't think we need the cutscenes. I, I don't think that's what's important to people. So we're just going to go like that and we're not going to do the cutscenes. So that is fine with me. Alright, gameplay and engine. Let's do that. Alright, come on, guys. Get your, pour yourself in some good amount of points. We're going to need to, you know, maybe market something like that. So let's do marketing. And let's just advertise in a magazine. You know, we're working on it. All right. So that's just telling people, you know, hey, we're in a magazine where we're advertising. You know, this stuff is coming out. 
So artificial intelligence uh, and yeah, AI and level design. I think that's going to be some of the more important stuff like that. So military strategy, we will have AI dialogues. Not really so important on this one. So uh, Stephen Haynes. All right, so it's uh, okay. Who do we put on this stuff? Artificial intelligence. So we can go with. Um, so we'll actually we'll knock this down to. All right. Well, first we need to see who goes what. Level design. So we got our designer right here, and then dialogues. We can get you know the you to do dialogues and you to do that. So that's going to. Now, that's gonna that's gonna split it a little bit more evenly uh, actually we'll save you and we'll get you to do that and we'll save Ben Dover to do this because they, then if they overextend themselves we're fine with that so we got 60 from like 10 so it's 50 so we can go like this and I think that's gonna be pretty good she's a tech on AI yeah, I think that is really the split we want to try and achieve. All right, so we'll do that. Great. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so now we're in the second part. We'll mark it. We'll do a magazines and demos. We'll choose that. So magazine and demo campaign is now happening. So people, you know, they get to do they get to do that. You know, get a little bit of a demo of the game. So sound is important. Graphics, we don't know. Is does that mean? Yeah, I think. World design is very important. Graphics, we, we will do a little bit. So graphics, I think that means you need to worry about graphics. Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to have sound. Sound design, that means you, and then you there. All right, so that's great. Okay, so 100. Then we can go like that. There. So world design, no, sound. Oh, crap. All right, fine. So you're going to be doing that, and you're going to be doing that. Okay, so you're going to be doing that, and you're going to be doing that. There. All right. So sound is all the way up. World design. We can do open world and day and night cycle graphics. So there you go. I think that's going to really be the split that we want on there. 100% on each of them. All right. Come on, give. Then we'll do marketing and we'll do a nice small campaign. So choose that small campaign. 500K in the bin. Uh, no. You want to go on vacation. Well, that's okay. You know, you just get... Oh, ooh, big points poured in there. Oh, that was nice. Wow. A lot, a lot of big points poured in there at the end. So we can check that out. See if there's anything. Okay, come on. One, two, three. Two months. All right, Zavena Oasis. There, done. 69, 64. Those are great numbers, good management. So there you go. Wait, that's a new combo? It is? I don't know about that. But uh, that's okay. New combo, good management. Doesn't seem like a new combo to me, but that's okay. Ah, oh, look at that. Now we are we're getting better and better at everything. So, I guess that means it is time to release the game. Due to Ah, oh, okay. Our staff has special training available for Kevin Flynn. Uh, rich backstory, I am, uh, research available 3D graphics. I thought we already did research 3D graphics V3. Maybe we researched 2D graphics V3. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, that sucks. Uh, we'll send you on vacation. Uh. I mean, it's just gonna be to gain fans, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have a game timed right for this year's E3. All right, come on. Oh, oh, those are high numbers. Oh, nine. Okay. We still made a good game, though. That's all that matters. Eight. Okay. It's not going to reach the same hype that the last one did. But honestly, how can it? Y y y sequels never reach the hype. 
But look at that. It's almost perfect. I mean, seriously, that that's good. Generate a game report. There you go. Uh, you research. I mean, you might as well research, you know, what we're all thinking about. So you get, get that, get that under your belt. Ah, the trend toward casual games recently. Well, we're going to be doing that for sure. Uh, we're going to be doing that casual, casual game shortly. No need to worry. That's definitely going to be happening. So, uh, I think it's going to be a sequel too. Our post-release analysis front lines two into the den is complete. We got the following graphics seem to be not very important for this type of game. Uh, okay, let's focus on graphics would have been there. Um, if you're not a fan, uh, okay, let us hit a rare technical polish in the game. Really comes through overall experience. Best game ever. Oh, look at that. So, I mean, we've got, we've got a lot of fans here. They like that game. It's not the biggest booth. Uh, it's going to be small, so I guess our numbers are going to be... They're going to be under what they were before. We didn't get into the top 100. But we didn't have anything to advertise. So, honestly, we got to have a smaller one. So, there you go. We can train you into... Oh. Practice, practice, practice. Kevin Flynn. Look at that. Code Jam. Oh. Oh, well, that's that's nice. Cost us 70k. But that really... That's going to that's gonna mean that you guys are going to get way better, right? That is very interesting. All right. Well, I like I like that for sure. All right. Uh, no, we don't want to fill a new position. I I mean, look at that with the the with the market leaning towards casual and E three just ending. I think really the best thing to do is going to be to develop a sequel quite quickly. All right, a quick sequel to Bongo Blasters. Or to Pocket People 2, Terror of the Keys. I mean, the Vena Oasis has just come out. A, B, C, D in your face. Flick your fingers. All right. I think it's going to be uh, a sequel to the music casual hit of three years ago. Um, a, virtu a casual, uh, yeah, virtual pet game. And I haven't done one, right? No, I haven't. I haven't done a virtual pet game at all. Are there... How many fans do we have of this game? 3,700, eh? You know, top sales rank 6, 7, 5. All right. So, I think uh, Pocket People 2, Terror of the Keys. Was this already... Oh, this was already a sequel. Well, why don't we do a sequel to... Um, not ABCD in your face. Uh, let's do a, a sequel to Flick Your Fingers. Yeah. All right. Rhythm Casual. Let's, let's do that. So... Let's do that. It is going to be uh, an everyone game, rhythm casual, uh, and it's going to be on the gameling. That still the the, the gameling still has uh, a very good <sighs> the Dreamcast. I don't think we want to we want to do anything on there. And are we? Is there going to be the gameling advance that's going to come out soon? Comes out around GameCube time, right? Hmm, that's really hard to tell. The Vena Oasis, that one's gonna go out, that one's gonna go out, that one's gonna go out. Is this gonna be like a last hurrah for the gameling? Still got 14% of the market. Honestly, that's still a good market share. All right, so while it's got that uh, youth rhythm casual, uh, we're going to do it, we're gonna make it a medium game on the gameling. Powerhouse Crystal goes on there. You know, even though it's going to be 3D graphics, it's going to be the ludicrous. All right. So, Rhythm Casual Gameling uh, is called Flick Your Fingers, and then it's going to be called... You know what? No, we don't We don't want to do that. That's that's not good. Develop a new game, and it's... No, no, no. Develop a sequel. We don't want to do it like that. We want to make it Music Casual, Virtual Pet Casual... A virtual pet game, uh, but the thing about it is, I don't really want to make it on there. That's the hard. That's the hard part. A music casual game, that it, it was apparently quite good, so we could do a sequel to that. A music casual game on the PS2. I mean, people like that. Yeah, it's a music casual. It's still casual, and it's not on that other system. 
So I think Bongo Blaster uh, requires a sequel, right? I think Bongo Blaster needs a uh, needs a sequel. So we will select that. I mean, it's been over two years. It's been, yeah, it'll have been two and a half years. I think uh, with the market leaning towards casual, we will do Bongo Blaster. It's uh, a medium game. Was it was it youth or was it everyone? Crap, I don't remember. Fena Oasis is no longer supported. Uh, all right. Game history. What was Bongo Blaster? Bongo Blaster. Um, play system. Young. Oh, it was young. Okay. So we'll do that again. Develop sequel to Bongo Blaster. So we'll select that. It'll be young. Uh, it's going to be on the play system. And it's going to be using Powerhouse Crystal. Medium game. I think that's a new engine for it as well. I think the... I think their first... That was... Yeah, I think... I don't know actually. No, if I'm being honest. Is that too early for a sequel? That's the real question. Well... You know what? I'm just gonna develop a, a completely new IP. This isn't this isn't the year of sequels. We're doing good on money, so let's instead of doing that, let's uh, let's research a new game topic. So research new topic, uh, game dev. Yeah, let's make game dev tycoon. There you go. So let's do uh, game dev simulation on the PC. I think that's gonna be. That's going to be just fine. So let us start our research on that. And I'm going to say, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, we'll see you guys next time. Aw, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm going to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.